So it's a matter of great pride and privilege for all of us that at the beginning of their career, 136 probationers have been given this opportunity to meet you, the Honorable President of India. They are a highly motivated group of brilliant officer trainees with varied academic background of arts, engineering, medicine, science, management, and law. Recruited through the civil services examination and the engineering service examination conducted by UPSC. Sir, during this past one and a quarter year of our training, we underwent various modules at our centralized training institute, NAIR Padodra. Interspersed with on-job field training, which included visiting the railway establishment, production units, and PSUs. The first-hand interaction we had with our staff at the cutting edge level made our learning more pragmatic. In the process, we trotted the length and breadth of this great nation, witnessing the rich diversity and tracing the footprints of railways in the economic development of the country. We are indebted to our motherland for reaping the benefits of education, skills, and values. I welcome you to this historic Rashtrapati Bhavan. And also, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you on your success in all the five services which are important to run a huge, complex organization like Indian Railways. As Chairman Railway Board pointed out that you had varied academic backgrounds, engineers, general graduates, medical graduates, and many other disciplines. In all five services, for which you have been recruited to a very difficult competitive examination speaks of your academic excellence. You are undergoing through important changes and also various aspects of the training inputs in railways, traffic, accounts, protections, all these are very important in railway services. It is one of the oldest organizations. And it is said that there are very few institutions which combine India physically and mentally. Indian Railways is one such organization. From mountains to seas, from deserts to plain to arid land, whole length and breadth, 65,600 kilometers are covered by railway networking. 